Hi, my name is Emma Sage and I'm the technical services manager at CQI. Today I'm going to be talking about a comparison of the main processing methods. At CQI, to understand coffee processing, we use the anatomy of the coffee fruit and seed because when you understand the anatomy, you can really describe what is happening during any coffee process. At CQI, we use the technical name of the process in our curriculum, which is the column on the right. Natural, honey, mechanically demucilaged, washed, and wet hold. However, you can think of these also botanically, and that is sort of the column on the left. It's based on the last layer of coffee during the end of drying, so the, the drying phase. What is the layer that is present during drying? There's fruit dried coffee, which means the whole fruit is still there and that's natural. There is a mucilage dried coffee, which is pulped and the pulp is actively removed or the pulp and part or the whole of the mucilage is removed mechanically. In the case where the pulp is actively removed, that's usually a honey coffee. In the case where the pulp and part or whole of the mucilage are removed mechanically, that's mechanically demucilaged coffee. There's also parchment dried coffee, which is pulped, but then the mucilage is removed using biological processes. We call that fermentation. That is known as the wash process. Finally, we have seed dried coffee, which is pulped, but then hauled while the coffee is still relatively wet and its name is wet hauled. We're going to go through each of these. First, the wash process. This is also known as parchment dried or the wet process. The flavor profile for this is theoretically floral, sour, citrus fruit, and people refer to it as clean tasting. This process was developed in the 1850s during the Industrial Revolution. And it was developed in the Caribbean and popularized in Central America to handle higher volumes of coffee. Now it's used all over the world. The natural process, otherwise known as fruit dried coffee or dry processed coffee, we consider sort of the original coffee process because before pulpers and demucilators were developed, there was just coffee dried in the fruit or in the pod. And theoretically, these coffees are fruity, whiny, and have fermented notes. Since coffee originated in Ethiopia, or Arabica anyway, this was traditionally used there and now everywhere around the world that grows coffee. However, um, until recently, this process was mainly used in regions that had water limitations. Now there's much more experimenting with untraditional or newer processing methods in areas of the world, even if they have lots of water. Next is honey. Honey is also known as mucilage dried because it's dried with the mucilage on. Um, it's also known as pulp natural. The flavor profile of honey coffees are theoretically fruity, but there's really a large range of profiles. The honey process can mimic sort of a, uh, a washed profile and it can also mimic a natural profile. It just depends on how that coffee is processed. Uh, some people say that you take more mucilage off and it more closely resembles a washed coffee. You leave more mucilage on, it more closely resembles a natural coffee. And that can be true, but it's not always true. Depends on lots of other things during processing. This was developed in Brazil and then also later popularized in Costa Rica, uh, mainly due to the Costa Ricans trying to deal with some water conservation regulations. And then we have mechanically demucilaged coffee. This is mucilage dried, otherwise known as pulp natural. The flavor of mechanically demucilaged coffees are theoretically fruity, and they also can have a large range of flavor profiles. What's the difference between a honey coffee and a mechanically demucilaged coffee? The mechanically demucilaged coffee has gone through a demucilager. That is the easiest way to tell. Now, some people that make honeys make them with demucilagers. And in that case, I guess, they would be both mechanically demucilaged and honey coffees. You really just have to ask the right questions. And again, this, uh, this technique, this process was developed in Brazil and it's now used all over the world. Finally, we have wet hold coffee. This one is very unique and is lesser known, but has such a 
unique and, and different and notable processing method that we include it here as one of our five main processing methods. You can consider it a seed dried coffee because the coffee is actually hulled, so the parchment's taken off while the coffee still has a relatively high moisture content. This photo on the right is of coffee drying as I like to call it as the naked seeds. So there's no parchment anymore on those seeds, but they are still out on the drying bed. Theoretically, this results in a musty, earthy, herb-like, chocolatey flavor profile with a heavy body. And this process is almost exclusively used within Indonesia. It really seems to have developed to deal with the humid climate in Indonesia because there was a lot of problems drying coffee in a safe amount of time. So one way to get the coffee to dry faster would be to remove a moisture barrier, which is the parchment. You remove the parchment, the naked seed can dry faster. So it saves time, it saves patio space, and it probably saves spoilage. Now you know the five main processing methods that we teach at CQI. This information is part of our CQI Q Processing Level 1 Generalist class. The course is a classroom-based class, and the information is like this, only there's a lot more. We have coffee tastings. We also cover harvesting, sorting, much more in depth on the processing methods, chemistry, etc. It's designed for those of us who work on the consuming end of the chain. Our Q Processing curriculum also includes a Level 2 and Level 3 classes. The level two is our farm level class, and it's for people who work regularly with processing at the mill, hopefully with decision making power so they can go back to their place of work and implement changes based on the new information that they gained in our course. The expert class is a really intensive year long course that includes a remote semester, a field intensive and a capstone project. It's for processors, mill owners or managers, and innovators and leaders in coffee processing. Thank you very much for learning about the five main processing methods with me today. If you want to check out our Q processing curriculum and all of our other education opportunities at CQI, please visit our website.